a new expensive CPU, new expensive memory, and a new expensive motherboard. Upgrading to Ryzen 7000 is going to cost you, so that is why buying a more budget B650 board such as the B650 Aorus Elite might be a wise move. Especially seeing how feature-wise this motherboard isn't too far behind the much more expensive X670 Aorus Elite. Starting off the CPU power delivery situation, things are looking pretty standard with 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phases ready for a maximum of 70 amps. Now that is less power phases than the X670 and the fact that you only have an 8 pin and a 4 pin for CPU power compared to 2 for 8 pins, it does mean that your CPU will receive a lot less maximum power, but the thing is, unless you're a hardcore overclocker, and I mean hardcore overclocker, you'd have to be absolutely psychotic to be able to tell the difference between this power situation and a power situation on a much more high-end motherboard. And especially seeing how the VRM cooling itself is also pretty much identical between these two boards, well honestly I wouldn't worry about its downgrade if I were you. And pretty much the same thing can be said over the PCIe situation because overall it's pretty identical though slightly worse. Once again you have your main PC Gen 4 16x slot with two additional physical 16x slots so once again you have no 1x slot at all to speak of which is still kind of disappointing because a lot of smaller cards still use a 1x slot but whatever I kind of finished complaining about that ages ago. Well, actually, no, I'm still complaining about it. Um, never mind. But unlike the XX70, here you just have three M.2 slots rather than four, with one of them once again being PC Gen 5 ready. But even though I don't know you personally, yet, I'm gonna assume that if you're buying a more budget motherboard, you aren't gonna be putting more than three M.2 NVMEs in your system anyway. So again, doesn't really matter. Now, onto the good stuff. The rear I.O., something that Gigabyte have always excelled with and thankfully they don't slow down for the more budget B650 boards. Because oh boy, it's a feast for the eyes. Look at all those USB Type A's, 11 of them to be exact with just 4 of them being USB Gen 2. Now that is one less than the X670 variant but still, it's gonna be more than enough for most sane people. And if you do need more than 11 USB Type A ports, uh, Please let me know what you're doing with them down in the comments below. I'm really, really curious what you need so many for. On top of that, you once again have a singular lightning fast USB Type C port, both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, and wait, wait a second, DisplayPort? Yeah, DisplayPort, that thing that Gigabyte forgot to put on the X670 Eros Elite. Yeah, that thing, it's actually available as an option in the step down variant. So, yes, this cheaper board has a feature that the more expensive version doesn't. Gigabyte engineering, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, apart from that weird oversight, once again you have Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5 gig Ethernet, and sadly, once again, a mere free audio jacks. <sighs> That's a habit that Gigabyte still, sadly, haven't broken. And I wake up every single day hoping that Gigabyte will finally return to the same world and introduce a new motherboard with five audio jacks and optical speed of as standard, but sadly, well, it's still not happening. But anyway, at this point in the video, I would normally talk about, you know, when you should get the X670 and when you should get the B650, but honestly, none of that matters. Because the price difference is so big and the feature differences are so minimal that I honestly can't imagine anyone who would pick the X670 over the B650 unless they so desperately need the few additional features that motherboard has. The X670 was already a fantastic budget motherboard that has pretty much all the features you could want in your upcoming Ryzen 7000 base build. And this board is basically all of that, but even cheaper. So, I mean, really, it's no brainer. So if you want to buy this motherboard for yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below, because that way you don't pay anything extra while we get some money back that gets reinvested straight back into the channel. Now, of course, there are a lot of other B650 motherboards, so if you don't want to get ripped off, make sure to subscribe to this channel, because I'll be covering a lot more of these motherboards in the near future. Like, I'm trying to save you money here, guys, you know? So, like, if you don't subscribe, it basically just means that you like wasting money. Motherboard down in the comments below, and which motherboards you want me to cover next. And if you found this video helpful at all, and you want to help support this channel so we can make more videos in the future, then the best way to do that is to support us on Patreon, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Elevonio, Bart, 
Tadej Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much support truly goes a long way. And you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway that's what it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember, subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye. <laughs>